What's going on, people? Welcome to the LV Live show. I am LV Live. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button once again. I want to thank all the new subscribers for coming by to my channel, man. It is truly, truly appreciated. So the season's almost here, man. As you see right there, October 6th, next open preseason against the Charlotte Hornets, which means camp pretty much opens up in September, man. So it should be exciting to see exactly what the Knicks look like coming out of training camp for that first opening game um, against the Hornets for preseason. And as you know, opening night, we will play against the Boston Celtics October 22nd. First game of the season, man. So that's great to see for the Knicks. So ESPN, right, recently gave, or shall I say came out with their predictions of MVP. Right now, automatically, we should know, right, our MVP candidate, Captain Jalen Brunson, should be in the mix. But no, he's not. <laughs> ESPN has come up with their own list, and Captain Clutch is not in it, right? So let me give you, let me run down who they got. Of course, you know, it's, it, is, it is the regular guys, of course. Number one being Luca, right? Number two being Joker. Number three being SGA. Number four, Ant-Man, right? Anthony Edwards, right? Coming off a great season last year. Number five, Giannis. Number six, Joel Embiid. Number seven, Jason Tatum. Number eight, Anthony Davis. Number nine, John Morant. And number 10, Kevin Durant. Now listen. Great players, great players. Let's, let's let's not act like these guys are bums. But how is it that Jalen Brunson finished in the top five at MVP voting? We already know his stat line, right? He averaged 28 points a game last year, almost 29, 28.7, let's be exact. Top four in the league. Then in the playoffs, he exploded, right? We already know five points, excuse me, five games in which he scored over 40 points. He bumped up his average to 32 and a half points a game in the playoffs, Seven and a half assists a game. He was just amazing. He was the player of the playoffs. Everybody understands that. So how is it he's not even in the running? How, how is it he's not even in the conversation? At least give him number seven. At least give him number nine. He was top five finishing last year. Knicks were the second best team in the East behind the Celtics. 50 and 32. He's a big reason of that. We Everyone knows that. He's the head of the snake, especially with Randall going down in January. And still, they disrespect him by not making him top 10 in the league. That's okay. That's okay. There's more motivation for him going into this season. Right? But there's no way, guys. We all know. We all know exactly what it is. It's the Knicks hate. We understand that. We accept it. So now going forward, this is something for him to look forward to, to pretty much do. Right? Let's be in the MVP voting. Let's pretty much be in a conversation. And if Brunson does what I know Brunson can do, he will be top five in MVP voting again next year. And possibly, what I know, will be first team All-NBA. Book it. LV Live said it. Right? But they did have some good things for the Knicks, right? They did talk about, you know, defensive player of the year candidates, right? They had OG Anobi, and they had Mikael Bridges in the top ten, which is great to see. And sixth man of the year, Josh Hart tied for ninth. So that's good to see. That's good to see. So, you know, hey, look, they are showing us some type of love. But when it comes to Captain Clutch, he just continues to disrespect him. One place that did not disrespect Jalen Brunson was basketball reference. They have him finishing top eight in the MVP votings, right? So at least someone's getting it right, right? So we'll pretty much see exactly what happens. But we all know that we will see Captain Clutch because that's why he gets Captain Clutch because he is big time when it matters. Ice water in his veins. He knows it, right? So we just got to see exactly what happens with the season, but we already know. We already know he's only just to the promised land. Listen, maybe not all the way to the chip, but I believe Eastern Conference Finals. I think that's the that's exactly where we're going to be next year. And if he does that, definitely see top five MVP and definitely see first team all NBA. All right, but listen, but that's my show. I'm LV Live. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button, people. Right. Also, too. If it's your first time coming through to the channel, please subscribe. And also, too, please leave comments because I do respond to comments. All right. That's my show. And I'm LV Live. And I'm out of here, people. Peace.